Okay, now I have my mic on, but hey, honey buns, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here ever, welcome for the first time. I'm Mila Vanderbilt, and tonight we are actually doing GTA slash Second Life things. Usually what we're going to be doing from now on with my stream schedule is every last Wednesday of the month, we're going to be doing GTA things. But tonight I want us to talk about the new server that I'm opening and how it's connected to my Second Life city. And just like hang out and show you guys things and all the fun things. So if you're here, say hi in chat. I see Lex, Only One, Red, Camila. Ari, Avril, Rare, KNC. When did? I was late. So I started running. <laughs> and now I'm tired. Hey, Misty. How are you guys? Let me see. This camera and me. Oh, you can see like all my shit on my desk. Hey, Miss Nikki from New York. Hey, Mad. How are you guys? How goes it? I don't have my huge jug of water. Side note, can we talk about my glasses? I ordered glasses, didn't know they didn't have frames in them. And I was like, when else would I use these other than stream? Hey Nadine, hey Halbert, Jasmine, B. B, I was just talking about you today. I'm gonna hit you up. Hey Carly, look at all the honey buns. Hey honey buns. All right. Steel. Ooh, what kind of laptop are you getting? How are you guys? One, I'm gonna be primarily in GTA. So I'm gonna get, why is it not showing here? Don't start with me GTA, oh wait. I was like, I definitely am in. Hey Tiana, Lauren, Logan, Papa, Zox. Wait, Aqua. I'm gonna say that's so wrong. Well, Aqua, thank you for that Twitch follow if you're here. Hey, Kevin. How are you guys? What's new? What have you been up to? So is anyone here into role play? Um, I am, if you don't know me, like I started Second Life to role play. I started in role play Sims for my first like three or four years in Second Life. My whole experience in Second Life was all about role play. Granted, back then we were doing, Sandra, hey, I was just talking about you, Sandra, too, because I literally, we'll get into it, easily distracted. Hey, Olivia, hey, Ari. Um, when I first got into it, it was all about like paragraph role play. So we had these like long extended scenes. You were always in character. Like there was no OC in my life back then. And recently I discovered GTA role play, not recently, like back in September. And this is my first time ever doing voice role play. But like, as time has gone on, I've kind of fallen in love with it, but literally for like the past month or so, I was just so torn between Second Life and GTA. And I was just like, I wish there were more things that like bridge the gap between them. And I wish I could like just continue my story on both sides. Cause what I always felt like is when we came back in SL to role play, it seemed so different than my GTA role play. And I want them to be one big happy family. So tonight we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do for that. <laughs> hey Alex, hey Jasmine. My teeth, I mean, my lipstick is like doing that thing where it feels like it stuck to my teeth. Um, also, Discord's like broken today. But anyway, let's, let's switch over so I can talk about this. I um, I only recently, so realized how many people don't know GTA roleplay exists or exactly what GTA roleplay is on TikTok because I keep getting so many questions about like, what is this? How do you look like that? How are you playing with other people? There are a lot of people who didn't even know like you could do or play GTA with multiple people. So I'm gonna kind of talk a little bit about role play, show you guys what is Bayside City. I kind of, I wanna like log in from the beginning so you can see the whole thing. But um, we're just gonna talk about all the things. This song playing is super distracting to me because I just wanna sing it. Y'all remember this song? Yes. So we'll get all into it. I'm gonna switch to like our normal music. This whole song, whole time the song's been playing, I just been singing it in the background. Hey Mina, Tiana. Oh, BRB, hurry up. No, I'm joking, <laughs> take your time. This is like kind of obstructing my vision. All right. Girl, it's so funny cause I've watched GTA roleplay for so long, but like never had any interest in playing until this year. Because for me, I didn't want to voice role play. Like the idea of voice role play freaked me out. And I remember, honestly, 
I think it's just been, I don't know, I'm always freaked about, about talking. Like, as much as I talk on this channel, like, even me playing other games, I didn't want to play other games because I was like, I don't want to talk to strangers. I remember I didn't want to play Dead by Daylight for that reason. Mayhem got, she got some nervous twitches going on. <laughs> we'll get to why that's happening. Um, <laughs> first of all, I'll get to it. But um, voice roleplay scared me. But what I do like about GTA, now that I've been in it, I've kind of, I think I prefer voice roleplay over emote roleplay that we do in SL. I know still, but like they're decent. They're decent when they're all modded and stuff. So let's first talk about kind of what's new about Bayside. So you guys, for those of you who don't know, I've been streaming GTA content on Twitch since September. And I've been in the server called The Ville. And I remember when we joined the server, we just like kind of fell in love with it day one. Hey, Muhammad, how are you? <laughs> She's just been like tweaking out a little bit. She's shaking a little. <laughs> but um, I was playing the server called The Ville. It was owned by this guy, Mario, who is still involved and then like mario ended up leaving the bill for a little bit of time i purchased the bill with a partner and then but it was like i always had this like itching feeling that i wanted my gta experience to feel a little more personal and a little closer to the roleplay life that i've been living for the past decade like i've been role playing for a decade which is crazy to think about voice rp still freaks me out with strangers <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Kevin. There's still a lot, a lot more. I mean, a lot of things have been added. Hey, Red Sonia. Girl, Nadine, when I tell you, like, I don't think you can't be, I know it doesn't seem like I'm shy because I get on here and stream all the time, but at the end of the day, you gotta remember, I'm just sitting in a room by myself alone and I can't see y'all. Y'all can't talk back to me like on voice. So you can't say anything back. Like I remember in SL, I was too afraid to like emote with people. I remember when I first started the club, girl, I didn't want to do that. Like when I say I'm shy, I'm shy, it's for sure. So coming into this, it was just very awkward for me. And it was awkward. I think I was like, my first couple of videos were pretty awkward in GTA roleplay, I'm not gonna lie. But you just kind of got to find your crew. Just find some people that you're comfortable with and it helps. But, um, so basically what we have here. So yeah, I had that like itching feeling to just have something a little more personal something that i could really customize for our community because i think we have a super solid community even though even those of you that are like i role play within bayside sometimes i think there is just something really magical and special about us and i don't think i could have ever gotten to kind of cater to what our needs are or our interests are the way the server was before so decided to create a whole new discord server um <laughs> hey Victor, if you guys do the server commands, it'll show the server if you want to join it. But I create a whole new Discord server. I am so sorry, sorry bleh, shy Sandra. Sandra knows me in real life, so she knows. Um, and still, I feel that because like the reason I like to role play was because I like to write. But oddly enough, we'll, we'll get we'll get to it. There's so much I want to talk about. I'm just like talk, talking so much right now. Um, but yeah, we create a whole new Discord server. I'm currently editing our website. I kind of want to show you a preview of the website. I'm not finished with it. There are a bunch of pages I haven't published. And then I'm currently finishing up the homepage. But I feel like, I feel like we have to experience this together because it's so dope. Hold on. This one. Oh, well, let me make it big. Y'all can kind of see that. I feel like I'm a librarian. I'm looking over my glasses. But um, I have a vision for the website and everything. Like we're working through so many details because you, I don't think until you get into like the, shit, I turned my music off, into the thick of planning that you realize like how related everything is. So literally all these different aspects have to kind of come together. But um, let me show you the website because I think it like summarizes what we're trying to do here. Oh, damn it, I covered it. <laughs> but basically, when you come to the site, you get two options. You have your, like, Second Life Bayside and now your GTA Bayside. And um, it just, like, talks about the shared connection. The one thing that's going to be similar in both cities. So me, Amy, and Raina, like, literally sat down and went back and forth with this concept for so long. We're like, because when I was playing in GTA, it was, like, a different timeline. So I was always saying that Mayhem was Mila before... Mila, like, so she's supposed to be my backstory for Second Life. 
But lately, we just decided, let's just make it on the same timeline. Let it be a shared experience. So if you register for the city, you're registering for both cities. It doesn't matter which way, because you still have to register for a city. There's like a system that we use where you register that can hold your licenses, your like city reg or your vehicle registration, your medical records, your police records. So I was like, wouldn't it be cool if you could act up in Second Life if you wanted to, if you wanted to commit crimes, do crazy shit. And then if you get pulled over with warrants from Second Life in GTA, you could potentially go to jail here. Cause not gonna lie, jail in GTA is a lot more fun than it is in Second Life. Although I remember I used to role play like a criminal in Second Life and I was always in jail. Like I lived there, but we just wanted this experience where you could literally have just a shared experience across both platforms where you could potentially like expand your role play. Like there are certain things you just can't do in GTA that you can do in Second Life. And there are things you can't do in Second Life that you can do in GTA. So I thought it'd be cool if you could start scenes in Second Life that you could finish in GTA. You could face the same type of consequences. We want our police to all go through the same training, our medical staff to all go through the same type of training. So the experience, no matter which platform you're playing in is the same. Um, so that's what we're planning. That's what we're going for. It's taken also like just a lot of work on the SL side and a lot of things that we're changing about the role play um, on the SL side. That's why I say when we launch this new Discord server, it's really going to be a shared environment for both communities. Granted, you get to choose where you play, but you're still a part of a very much larger community, whether or not you want to bounce back and forth or whether or not you're just like sticking in one place, you have these options. Um, it just got dark out in GTA. So basically what I'm going to show you today in GTA, I'm just going to show you some of the features, kind of where to start, because this is going to be my only YouTube stream before we actually open the city. So I want to kind of answer questions, show you guys how to get started. Um, just like let you know what to expect. There are a lot of things that we're still finishing up here, but just want to let you know like what's coming and like what positions and role play positions are, we're going to be opening first, who we're going to be opening the server to first, like who's going to be able to get in when, all that. But yeah, I'm mad. Like literally, it took like three weeks of us just like kicking ideas off of each other. And that's why I, I, I love and appreciate my team because like it takes that type of planning. Like I needed people who could just like work through all the details and like figure out like how could this work in two platforms with one community and make it feel like one community um so i'm excited because i want to get into like a cop chase in gta and then go to try to run up into the monarchy and have a cop from bayside come up and arrest me like i feel like that would be so fun <laughs> okay so when you land right still and still I don't know if we have it in here yet. We have like a, there's the Weasel News. I don't know if you've ever seen Weasel News in GTA, but um, it's like a whole news station. And I thought of you first, because I was like, the stuff that you were like doing with Juice Network is what I've seen people do with Weasel News in GTA. And it looks so cool and the studio was so dope. And I was like, I can see, I can see the relation. I can see it relating. Um, okay, so when you land, I think you land around here somewhere, either out here or in the airport. Honestly, you haven't worked out that detail. The airport you can come into, you couldn't before. Yeah, it tweaked out a little bit. Does this not remind you of Second Life Airport? It's a little bit. But um, in here you find, don't go over there. That's how you go to a different island. But in here you'll find all the stuff that you need to like put your character together. Like, why do I never know what doors are? How do I get in here? But there's a clothing store in here. So you can, <laughs> so you can start putting your character together. For me, I prefer, like, I like going to the mall to do all this kind of stuff but you can do it all here there's like a barber shop i think there's a tattoo shop in here there's yeah anything you need i think there's a store so you can buy a phone and everything it tweaks out when you're walking out the door we're aware yeah i've seen that i think that would be cool especially because there are a bunch of different types of jobs now um, cause we got a cool new like little phone system for some reason, my F1 button isn't working. So I have to do this. So ignore that. But, um, we have a new phone and there's like a taxi app so you can call an actual taxi. So people who have the taxi job actually can use the phone to do the taxi, which we couldn't do before, which is super cool. You should mad. Honestly, 
I feel like Mayhem is close to Mila, although Mario is currently like working on adding different things in. So I've had to reset my character or do my character over a few times. So right now she doesn't look that much like her. But I feel like in that picture that I have on the website, she kind of looks like her. <laughs> there are physics in like some outfits. Like, cause so for here, it's not necessarily about the body that you have. It's about like what outfit you put on. But some of these outfits have boobs and booties with physics. <laughs> So this is GTA roleplay. Okay. Yeah. Let me take a step back. So sorry. So basically you can do GTA roleplay. It's through a separate, I don't know what they call themselves, like resource, different platform. It's called 5M. And it's basically where individuals can own different servers. And if you're from Second Life, you can think of servers like Sims. So they're like having your own sim basically, but it's the GTA map. So most of the cities look like the normal GTA city, like Los Santos. You will find like other cities that have like custom things. So you could find New York, for example, like we played in New York once and it was like snowing. I don't know what other cities exist, but I know New York is one. Um, ours looks like LA because Bayside looks like LA. So we just have the basic city. But within our server, you can choose like all these different types of mods and add-ons that you want. So you can have different types of clothing, different types of character customization options, um, custom vehicles. Like she rides around in a little Mercedes all the time. Um, different locations that you don't normally see in the base game. So you can have all of that kind of stuff. And then just depending on what kind of server you join, you have the option to role play. Like I've been in so many different types of role play servers at this point. Like some of them, it's like playing in GTA online almost. Like people are just running around killing each other, being random. Some are very serious. So you have to be as realistic as possible. That's what we're going for here. We want very like serious role play or, and um, very diverse role play. So you can kind of choose where in the city you want to fall. Uh, I think a lot of it is like a rags to riches story because you're going to start with very little money and you're going to have to kind of work your way up both socially and economically in the city. There's also crime because, you know, it's GTA, so there's a big crime element. Um, but yeah, you own the game, but you have to rebuy it on 5 You don't. So if you own it, all you need is your... You have to just be able to log into Rockstar. So as long as it's your GTA is activated in Rockstar, all you have to do is download 5M and log in with Rockstar and that's all you need. Yeah, you do have to own it on PC. That was a bit that I didn't know before. Y'all know when this starts though, I'm probably gonna do some GTA giveaways. I always do that. We did that when I started role playing in GTA, I did a bunch of giveaways. So y'all could come join the server. When we launch this, I'll do some giveaways. But yeah. So for our city, that's the one thing I wanna like preface. Our city, a thousand percent is going to be a rags to riches situation. Now, a lot of servers have like little stores for their own server where you can buy different starter kits if you want to. We're going to have that option. So if you don't want to do the rags to riches, you want to start off with a certain something. We'll have options if you want to go that route. Um, but for everyone else, you'll start the game with a certain amount of money. It'll very likely be enough money for you to choose to either... You probably won't have enough to buy a house. You'll probably have enough to get a car to survive and just like live long enough to get a job or start a business or something. Um, so here you're gonna be, you're gonna be kind of broke to begin with. I know a lot of people go to servers want to be millionaires from day one. That's not the story here. So if you're, you're if you're into rags to riches role play, we got you. Um, so you'll start, you'll start at the airport. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't get dressed here. So I want to come in here looking. I'd probably be a man. Usually when you spawn in for the first time, you're a dude. Unless you're a dude, then sometimes you're just a chick. Cause all the dudes that I brought over here always end up being a chick at first. So you have options. Like you could buy a phone in the airport. Granted, your funds are gonna be limited. So choose wisely, but you could buy a phone. Um, Go to YT Ray Hall. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Um, You could buy a phone. We currently, the server is going to be opening at the same time for a lot of these um, like general jobs. Like it's going to open first for people who want to join like our emergency services, but for everything else, like all the other jobs. So taxi drivers, for example, if you come in the first day we open, there may not be a taxi business yet. Um, but I think we had a taxi driver that's like coming over. Oh yeah, Beatrix. See, we already have things in here that we um, want. Granted, we'll probably have those features if people really want their own very specific things, but uh, we have stuff like that. But okay, to get around, 
you could do a taxi. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a bus. I think, you know, naturally everyone expects to just like go chase a car and steal it. Low key, you're not gonna be able to steal cars just like that. You'll have to have like a lock pick and know how to do all that. And granted, you might get arrested. So if you don't have a lock pick cause you're brand new and there's no sketchy person here trying to sell you a lock pick, you're gonna have to take this bus girl. So I'm gonna take the bus to the mall. Where is it? The vel oh, that needs to be renamed. <laughs> I'm taking it to the mall. If I have any luck with this, for some reason I don't. Let's let's try to get on. You better work. It's like us. Oh, you have to stand in a certain place to get on. Watch it not work because I'm watching. I mean, because I'm streaming. Hold on. Let me do that real quick. All right, gosh damn it. All right, well, add that to the list. I'm gonna get my car, because I'm gonna time for that bus. But there's a bus, you can go to different locations. I like getting dressed at the mall, so I'm gonna go to the mall and show you like character stuff. I gotta show you all this phone too. This phone has a bunch of cute little apps. Wait, what car do I drive usually? the Porsche. I knew it was gonna run over my car. I was about to say, I just put my car out. Yeah, so what I'll do is, I feel like we'll do a little walk around around GTA and then go check out Bayside and Second Life. Look at my hood, that bus messed my car up. Is my car even operating? It's so dark, jeez. I drive with a controller because that's the only life I know. Oh, look at me acting like I know where I'm going. That's the other thing too, like for those of us who love driving in Second Life, you're gonna love driving in GTA. For no reason. I just drive around aimlessly a lot. Oh my God, still you should. I need like a bank robbing partner. It would be fun. It's so funny though, it's been... No, I'm running out of gas? I never run out of gas, dude. I really feel like it's showing out for YouTube. Like it is acting up. My car just broke down. Bitch. <laughs> First of all, um, probably, but like um, Beatrix mentioned, depending on like how extensive the mods are, it might be one of those like, subscribe to get a mod. All right, I broke down. Granted, I'm just showing you all the server. I'm the only one in here, so I can't call for a mechanic. But when we are up and at them, you could totally call for a mechanic. And I may as well drink something before this girl passes out, because I don't need a broke down car and for me to be half dead and I'm the only one here. Dude, I really just broke down. I broke down and I'm thirsty and I can't steal a car. I'm gonna have to call for another one. I just got my acrylics done and my life is a struggle. All right. For real, Cheryl, like literally. You know, I had a feeling I should have gotten the, this one from the beginning. I still blame it on the bus. I think because I hit the bus that hard. All right. Don't hit me. My cars can't take it. Now right, let's buckle your seatbelt. You will fly out of your car and die. And here, so we're, um, like I said, we're gonna try to work on emergency services first because we all need them. I think I'm gonna include like mechanics and stuff on that first round of people that come in first too, because we all gonna need them. Hey, Angry Alien, and yeah, you should join. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. We're gonna, we're, we're opening apps for mods, like moderators. So if you're down for that, Steph, join, okay. I don't know why I'm like abiding by the traffic laws. Like I was not going on the other side of the road. 
It's because I got into so much legal trouble like the last week I was actually role playing. I got arrested and everything. I think I got arrested twice. Recklessness. No, I got pulled over once and arrested once. Is that the bus that left me? It sure is, punk. Yeah, we have a ton of jobs. Like it, we were role playing in here for a very long time. They were role playing before we kind of changed it up to Bayside. Hey, Mochi. All right, she's Louise. Yep, we have hospital bills. Still, my car broke down. I ran out of gas. <laughs> I had to get a new one. All right, so this is still the hypothetical if you are a super new person. I'll probably do a full one once we open. It's just like my character hasn't been wiped yet, so I've still got her. But this is the mall. If you come upstairs, this is where you can like completely customize your character. Like change their face and their skins and what they look like. I'm gonna do a little bit. <laughs> I feel you. I couldn't even I couldn't even like speak earlier. Got very confused earlier. I couldn't figure out which one of these was mayhem. Like this looks like mayhem, but this also looks like mayhem. But they can't both be mayhem. Maybe this one. I have no idea. But yeah, you can select like all your details here. You can customize your face. It's similar to SL, although you know how we use sliders? These are just numbers and you use your arrows to make them go up or down. You can change all their facial features. You start with like some base ones, like that 45 that I just went to. That would basically be like, if this were SL, that would be your shape. So you could select from a bunch of different types of shapes. Granted, we know how GTA, we know how Rockstar feels about women. So you're gonna struggle. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's not too hard. I think if you start with the ones, honestly, if you start with the ones that kind of aren't pretty and you play with them a lot, you end up looking very unique. So, Cause I've seen people that look like people I've never seen before, but I can always tell they've started with the ones that were super ugly and then changed all of the details. So if you really like character customization, you have time to like spend doing it, that'd be cool. Yeah, the mall is super cool. And also this is a real location in LA. Like I passed by it the other day and I was like, the fuck? I was like, that's real? <laughs> it's not a mall, I forgot what it is. But um, it was cool. All right, this is starting to hurt my head. They are tight. Um, but you could do all your character stuff here. This is also where you could, you could change your outfit. I always have a hard time putting on an outfit here. So I never put on my clothes here. I always just change my like features and my makeup. Um, but you could do all of that here. I have a video on how to actually like customize your character in five of them. And it's actually using the menus and stuff from the server. So it still applies. Hi, Tayona. But yeah, lots of options. Oh wait, did I keep the face? And here you have to enter a yes to actually like use it. I always forgot to, I mean, you have to enter. I used to always forget to hit enter and never save my character. But this mall's cool. There's also like a runway back here. So if you come in here with like a little crew and y'all trying to hype each other up, about how cute your character came out. Cute, boom. I feel like we should also plan events here. What else is up here that I can show y'all? Oh, the bank. I know, this is like a, it's just a salon. There's a, the barber shop in here. So you know how you can like change your makeup and stuff. All the stuff you could do in a barber shop in GTA. I got this. Did I spend money on that? I act like I have money. We took all my money away. Am I SL Sim? Yeah, we're gonna have gangs in SL too. So the same time we launch gangs is when in GTA, we're gonna launch them in SL. So what we're kind of doing first is we're letting the organized crime. So what we would consider like almost like a cartel to organize first, same in SL. So you guys know where the emperor is in Bayside? 
I need someone to take over the basement of the emperor and start a drug organization. <laughs> so we're gonna leave that up first. Dude, that gut on the hip, where was it? Like invest? I feel like that happens to everybody. Yes, good five them. Join our Discord server. That's how you'll get that in. I'll tell you exactly the process of like coming in in a minute too. <gasps> I have money again. Mario straight up took like $5 million from me yesterday. Like it was no big deal. <laughs> But I am starting off with everyone else. So I want to start my Rags to Riches story along with everyone else. It doesn't make much sense for Mila, but um, who is this? Sir, no shirt, no service. <laughs> now you're good. Who is this? Is this Mario? Wait, let me turn my music down one sec. Here for it. Let's introduce you. Oh, can you hear me? I'm streaming right now. We gotta introduce you. So this is Mario. Yo, yo, yo. What up, what up, what up? <laughs> Mario uh, owned the server originally. He owned the bill that he entrusted to me. Then I closed it down <laughs> and then created Bayside. But he is our admin here and he's been doing all this like magic work behind the scenes. Oh yeah. Here to help. I'm running around shortlist. Shirtless. You know, I gotta flex on them, you know what I mean? Also got the muscles. You see the veins in the arms, you know. I was about to say, <laughs> you look in details. <laughs> and short, look how little. <laughs> I'm showing them around. I'm gonna like go through the ball. I'm probably gonna over to university. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to do a video where you like teach us how to do all these special things. They're talking about you clapping right now. Wait, I not clap. No, I don't. There we go. College, um, <clears throat> got, um, new dealership set up now with the cars in here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Showing the nice over there. And then, uh, and then the other dealership, you'll probably, you'll probably have to fly out and fly back and see that one. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's one by the beach. I can't hear him. You whispering? Um, and Matt, no, you won't need to. I'm going to tell you the process of like getting into the role play in SL. <laughs> we have Gucci. That's what's funny. He's been like dressed well every day. <laughs> and yes, still, I need someone to run it, like to completely take control of it. Um, yeah, there's going to be a car dealership by the... Quiet. All right, cool. All right, Ed. All right. Y'all enjoy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah. And you know, if you use your guns and baseline and SL now, we have health on the sim, so you can legit die. We have to figure out how to work that into roleplay. Because I think in SL, there is technically no way for it to alert emergency services. Like if you die in SL, it just sends you home. I wonder if I could change the setting on the sim to just like leave you there. That's a random conference room, oh, stage. <laughs> yeah, props to Mario. This is a tattoo shop. I don't know if there's actually a tattoo shop in here. I feel like there, you know what I'm saying? And this is just like a random office. Wait, there's a bark? Shut up. See, where have y'all been my whole GTA life? I'm dying. Wait, I'm putting on some music. I'm just gonna turn it down low. Cause I like hearing the sounds of the city. Especially when I'm fighting people. A vampire in SL? Well, you know, Bayside in SL has like a supernatural component. Like, it's not, like, in your face, but there's, like, in a backstory that includes a bunch of supernatural shit. And it's, like, everyone's choice whether or not they want to believe. But, yeah. What's down here? Down here is the phone store. So this is where you come get your phone if you didn't get it at the airport because you just hopped on a bus like I would do. I'm going to be, like, the brokest of broke bitches. 
And this is a weapon store. You're only gonna be able to get a gun once you have a gun license. So, but you can also get like bait and stuff here because we have hunting, so you can get bait here. But you have to have a license to get a weapon and you can only get that through PD, I believe. Um, I believe, yeah, through PD. Mr. Who? Still, are you in a cell tonight? I gotta show you what the space looks like. It's so dope. Dude, can I, can I like walk with the bark? No, okay. Y'all see me bust out in that randomly. I'm blaming y'all. Um, do I see, wait, Red Zero. Wait, Red Zero. Moses? How are you? Um, so that's the food store. That's where he get food. Just know one thing here, grocery stores like that are going to be way more expensive than eating out because business, like restaurants and stuff are gonna be businesses that people can own and we wanna encourage people to try to go to restaurants. So stores like that are gonna be way more expensive than just going to a restaurant. I'll show you the restaurants too, they're cool. Um, I'm hoping Looney before when it was like the bill, um, we couldn't get anyone interested in working here. <laughs> but I want people to work here. There's also like one of these is a restaurant. Mario don't know it yet, but I'm about to hit him up about these. But you can get food here too. I would like it for this to be like something people work at, but it always made me nervous. I think it's because the SL side of me, knowing that there are some hours where everyone's not on. So I'm like, what am I gonna do, starve to death? <laughs> but yeah that's that we don't have this burger shot menu here yet but we do have burger shot but yeah let's continue oh, i'll have to go to another clothing store i think the clothing store is not in here right now wait it shows that it's in here that is not the right place what the shit Y'all can't TP around. That's not a thing. That's just a me thing. <laughs> it's an admin thing. <laughs> Damn it. I need another mod when Amaya's not here. It's coming along, dude. It's been a lot of planning work. I ain't gonna lie. Because we've had to figure out how to make it work for both SL and GTA, so it didn't just become a shit ton of work for me trying to have both of them. But it's coming. Like, I think now we're getting to the point where things are coming together. Sims 5, I know. Grocery store thought, hey. Okay, I don't know where the clothing store is. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm a little more afraid to show this here on Twitch I show it, but like, you know, nip knops. Her nip knops show a lot and I don't have her pasties on, but basically you can change all your clothes here. I'm not gonna change her cause I'm afraid her nipples will show and they absolutely will. But I can show you what like pants look like. So everyone on TikTok was asking me like why and how her butt's so big. It's literally the clothing that we have here. I'm trying to find some creators that may wanna make some stuff for GTA from Second Life, but we gotta figure out like how, what the format is. Oops. She ends up naked. But there are lots of like outfits that just have big booties. So you can choose basically per outfit if you have a booty or not. There's a droopy booty in here that I gotta find for y'all. I might leave her in jeans. The perfectionist in us is gonna have us cringe at like these little clipping moments, but like you'll just get used to it. No, you'll, you'll live, we'll survive. <laughs> There's not much you can do. There are alphas that you can play with um, under like arms and gloves. I have a whole video on this. I'm not gonna like go too far into it, but there's a lot of different outfits. I wanna put her in those dark jeans that we just saw. Ooh, excuse me. I'm drinking caffeinated, not caffeinated. Is it? Carbonated. Um, Officially not sure yet. The fifth is like a soft opening for sure. It's gonna be very likely for emergency services first and like the mechanic and probably a taxi. <laughs> so 
We're gonna open for those folks yet. We're gonna open this like the Discord server on the fifth. Um, so we'll go from there. Don't know how to bring Russian to the game. Yeah, that's what we gotta figure out. I don't know what like the file is, like the file type. I haven't looked it up to be honest. But I remember because I know a few people who create an SL and they were like, yeah, I'll just like. I could drop what I make an SL in there. And I'm just like, I don't know what you save it as or how to do it. <laughs> it's probably a Mario question. All right, we changed our pants. We have like a little bit of a booty. I could put her in the big old ridiculous booty. I know y'all saw that. Or is it one of these? All right. You should run for mayor. You know I've been trying to get a mayor. Are you still in SL? You gonna be mayor in both cities? <laughs> All right, let's go to university because university is new here. So for like positions where you would need to go to school in real life to have them, you're gonna have to go to school here too. And the way it'll work, so what I'm hoping to do is to create basically the same training in both cities the only thing is gta has a lot of like technical things like there are certain keys and menus that you have to use that we don't have to use in sl um so the idea is if you go through training in gta that'll automatically qualify you for whatever job we have in sl however if you go through training in sl just depending on what it is you may still have to go through training in gta but let's get in mayor mendoza that does have a ring to it <laughs> <laughs> All right, where else I was going? Oh, the university. Let's see. Also, fun facts: we are opening Bayside's fourth sim with the university to kind of coincide with this one, um, around like March first. So keep an eye out for that. So yeah, you're gonna be able to go to university and GTA. And you can choose if you want to take your classes in SL or GTA. Like, it's your choice. They'll all count together. They'll qualify you for the different positions in the city. Like, um, like being a doctor and stuff like that. We also have one for real estate, because I know everyone went wild when we did that other stream and everyone wants to be a real estate agent in SL uh, Bayside. So we'll have one for that. Haven't been on anything for a while. I feel you, I know. Chad, do not worry. I am like the typo queen and I've also given up like apologizing for my typos because my nails just make it very hard to type these days. Yeah, we have a fourth sim and I'm finally hiring a decorator to do it or a landscaper. I'm not designing it myself this time. I'm hiring someone else. So we met with him today and I'm so excited. I can't, I'm gonna tell y'all who it is after I actually give him his money and hire him. But um, he's so quick and he's so good. And I really trust that he's gonna bring like the vision of this sim together. And at first I was gonna model the school um, after UCLA, but I think this university right here is kind of modeled after UCLA. And I live very close to UCLA. No, I don't. I didn't tell y'all that, that information, mind your business. <laughs> but I plan on um, like driving to UCLA cause there are like really crazy mountains like leading up to it. And I'm gonna give him that video and have him create the city around it as well as the university area. But um, I think we're gonna model the university after this. Like we're gonna make it look just like this in SL2. Hey Avery. Yeah, it'll have residential. We're gonna definitely do dorms first. We'll see like what kind of houses because originally my idea was to have it because you guys know, I don't know if you know, UCLA is like in the middle of the most beautiful neighborhood in LA. Like there are mansions right next to it. So I was like, we could do that, but I don't think we're going to have all the space. Because I wanted to have, one, the university, and I want us to have a bigger medical facility next to the university. So we're probably going to put a bigger hospital on that sim. Um, but we want a couple of buildings for this. Um, you think you know who what is? Okay, continuing. <laughs> hey, Papa! Let's go into the university really quick. Um, We might try to build it. 
I'm gonna try to make things match because I think this is a unique opportunity to have a lot of new features in a GTA server and a brand new sim in Second Life so I can really make them look the same if I choose to. Granted, I do think the interior will probably look a lot better in Second Life um, in terms of like fancy and pretty. Yeah, UCLA is mostly... But, um, oh, I'm about to crash. What did it? Oh, wait, no, I didn't. But this is university. So the idea is what we're going to be doing in SL or what Amy already does in SL. Amy is our SL Bayside City roleplay admin. She has these like roleplay classes and meetups. I don't know how often she does them, but the goal is to also do them very regularly here and also to offer actual classes. So if you want to start a career as something that would require some sort of training, you're very likely going to have to come to university to get a certification or your diploma. Granted, it'll probably be a expedited situation so you can actually get a job and survive because your money's gonna last you but so long. Y'all have no sense of direction. But um, there'll be classes here, business, medical, definitely. Um, police, they actually have a whole PD Academy, which I can show you, it's actually pretty cool. I did. My first part of Police Academy here on YouTube and the second part I did on Twitch. And I've never shared that second stream here, so I guess I'll do that. <laughs> but I think this is so cool. Like, there are so many classrooms. I think this one's technically a high school. That's why there are lockers down there. But, you know, we'll survive. Look at ITSM. Hey, Fleeky, how are you? But yeah, I like this. I think it's cool. I'm tweaking out. Is there a lot of flashing happening or am I tweaking out? Where do stairs go? No. Oh. Boom. I think Mario said that there's a mod for the football too. Because we're trying to make football a thing in Bayside too. I know a lot of people that are into Second Life football. There's a field over here. Oh, see, Juan, we're, we're thinking the same thing. Oh my God, Angry Alien. Have you seen my video on it? It was literally so fun. But um, I don't feel like being a cop. I, like, I wanna be a criminal. I'm sticking to my criminal life. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. If there was anything that, I'll get to I'll get to the police stuff. It's so dope, I can't even. Yeah, this is like the field and the track. I think we'll build this in SL too. Let's see. Caden's gonna hate me, but I love how this is. Like you're literally, there's a hill right there. I want a big ass house on top of that. I wonder if Caden will just come into GTA. Mask, <laughs> to see exactly what we want. Um, I know we had wrestling. We're not gonna start with wrestling here, but what we're doing here is we're rolling out more features and phases. So as we get people like role playing and active, we'll have another phase where we'll roll out like a bunch of other different features. Oh my god, Avery, same. So when I my first place I ever role played in Second Life was at a school. Granted, it was a high school, but also granted it was an adult high school. When I say adult high school, I don't just mean for adults. It was adults. And I had a thing going on with the janitor. <laughs> but that janitor was Chris, who ended up being, oh, I wonder if we can make this a real place. I didn't even see this. There must be a mod for it if it's there, yeah. But um Ended up being Chris, who I started the monarchy with, and we were together in SL for like four years. Blind and dumb. I'm it was sorry. crazy. Cool. Okay. So we have stats. I'm gonna get to that. Oh wait, stats for sports. That would be cool. It'll be on your desk first thing tomorrow morning. Whose name did I say? It's not my fault. I'm still waiting on wait, y'all know Chris. Some of y'all, some of y'all that are new around town, y'all know Chris. Chris was the. There's no shame in Chris. He was like my longest second life relationship and then like disappeared from us all. But um, <laughs> no ill feeling towards Chris. I think that was the only second life relationship I thoroughly enjoyed and would forever like be his friend. So he's like a total <laughs> but it was so much fun. Like we used to legit like sneak off to the janitor's closet. Child, I was reckless my early years in second life. <laughs> I would stay late because I think I was on, what was I on, like the soccer team? And I would stay late after practice and like wait in the locker room. 
<laughs> it was a fun role play, okay? If you're wondering, the Bayside Sim for the school will be adult. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? What else I was going to show you next? Mario told me to show y'all something. PDM? Y'all know I'll never know how to get to PDM because I never bought my own cars back in the day. What's up? I might have to have him come show Chick-fil-A because Chick-fil-A has a new feature too that's super dope. Dude, sorority roleplay would be so fun. That's what we're trying. I'm trying to add a couple big houses. But I'm not being involved. And it's not going to be like, like, you know how there are actual sororities in SL? I want it to be like roleplay sororities. Like, I want there to be hazing. I guess the real ones do that too. But I don't want there to be a purpose. I just want it to be, all be for roleplay. Spin the bottle in the closet. <laughs> You should, it's funny though, cause I role played at that school for so long. I ended up becoming like the role play admin on that sim. And then I started role playing at first as like, hey, what's the equivalent? No, it was high school. It was, I was a guidance counselor. <laughs> and then I became a teacher, but I hated my students and I role played as a bad teacher. And then that movie Bad Teacher came out and I was like, oh my God, that was me and us all. Um, it'll be around the first weekend in February. It really depends on what you're trying to get into. If you're getting into like, emergency medical services or police we're gonna try to ramp those up first especially police because we know crime gets reckless real quick but we're gonna open it up for those folks first and i think mechanics and taxi and then we'll kind of trickle down from there but we're gonna open up the discord server so you can start committing i mean submitting character bios where am i going Is this the one? I feel like this is not the one. There's one, he made it so like, there are dealers. There, there's a new job that we never had before. It could be a car dealer, but all the cars were out. I feel like it wasn't this one. Kids review, thank you for the sub. Why is it not showing up here? Why gotta keep looking? <laughs> I am about to be a professor. Actually, I bet you I will teach a business class. I'm be so poor. That's going to be the only job I can get. Like, that's not an amazing job. Should I have to, like, go to school to be a professor? We're going to have to start off with, like, a group of professors and then go from there. All right. I don't think that was the one. I think it's maybe this one. You said another number. I stopped. You know, I have a problem. Y'all see this? Bayside Fitness. We were torn between calling it Bayside Fitness or Big Bear. Because, you know, Big Bear. I'll take you there. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Bayside Fitness or Big Bear. I don't know if I went to the right place. See it angry. Is this this? Is this another one? I don't know. You should mad. Well, it's university. Do universities have guidance counselors? What's the equivalent? Academic advisors? I'm gonna be a bad professor. If I do this, I'm gonna low-key be like scouting people just to come be strippers. So I own Vanilla Unicorn. I'm gonna forever own Vanilla Unicorn because I own the monarchy. So it has to, it has to happen. If you wanted it too bad, you can come be my manager. <laughs> hey, Evie, welcome. How's your day going? Where am I going? Hold on. I know there are so many options. Oh, I was in the right PDM. The cars weren't out though, for whatever reason. Where is that? Is Mario here? Can Mario just come get in the car? Will you be using the character bio? No, everything's gonna be brand new. If you submitted a bio, I'm hoping you still have it. Cause you will have to like completely submit a new one and be whitelisted here. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Where was I about to go, y'all? I can show you the police academy. I want to show you, like, the police station, too. Hold on. I'm trying to show you all the new stuff. Let's go to, let's go to fitness real quick. There are also, um, what's it called? New restaurants. There's an Asian restaurant, I think, a Japanese restaurant, which is so funny because me and Reyna have been making a bunch of Japanese food lately and I low key, I low key have a product coming out for like a store that I'm starting in SL, finally. You know I'm working with a mesher because I can't be bothered to learn, but it'll be fun. All right, the gym. I can park. Should I get a bunch of bots to roam around Bayside like this? So you can fight them. <laughs> it'll be so expensive to do, but I'm so here for it. Hey, little Chris. All right, so this is Bayside Fitness because all we do in SL is eat and work out. But um, you have to get like a membership. I don't know. I don't know if it worked for me. We'll see, we'll find out together. Watch that thing stay on my screen all night too. I don't know if this is up yet. Hey, Tony. Now it's still gonna be Vanilla Unicorn, but it looks cute. Have I showed you guys on YouTube what it looks like in there? It doesn't look like the basic vanilla unicorn. The cute one. I've never, look at it, there's a swallow. There's a swallow in Second Life. That's so funny, cause I feel like, I feel like it's the same logo. He is super buff. Oh yeah, but because that's in here, we have like stats now. Like you can run around and increase your stamina. And you can like increase your strength by fighting and stuff. What was the other one that you can increase? I can't remember. Right? That is that body. Let's look at him. You can sell him drugs too. Oh my God. Can we just, can we ride with you everywhere? Wait, why am I coming over here? Oh, I want to be chauffeured. <laughs> I love it. checking out the gym. Checking out the gym. Yep. Where's that um that police station? Oh wait, it's a police station. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we got a driver. Why can't I get into your front seat? Probably because I was too close to the curb. Oh, but it won't even let me switch over. What? We got a special car. You going to get chauffeur? Okay, we're gonna go to the police station. So we're wanting it to kind of be realistic for police too. I know, I've never even seen this. Some special stuff for you. Fancy. I swear he's whispering. Your volume's super low. Yeah, these cars will be special edition. Gotta work hard to get them. Yep. And not, or is it Kayla? Kala? Kayla? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But um, so it's gonna be like, we're gonna start them off the police in a super gritty station. And as their force grows and like, as things for the city improve, we're gonna move them over to the one that's next to city hall, which I'm also gonna show you because it's dope. And red lights. Oh yeah, we'll tell you all the laws, but basically here we use red lights. We treat red lights like stop signs. So you stop at stop signs and red lights if you don't wanna get tickets. Let me tell you girl. I have so many tickets <laughs> before because I swear they just be in the cut. You love Hummers? I'm a Jeep person. Like in real life, I love Jeeps. Actually, I, I like Hummers too. They're just so big. But um, I love big square boxy cars. So Jeeps, all the Jeeps are my favorite. Like even the ones that don't look big and boxy, I love Hummers. And then I just love the Mercedes G-Class. Oh, we'll go to the strip club. We'll go to the nail salon. 
I'm super excited about the nail salon because I'm also thinking of putting, so you know how we have Universa now at the mall in the Monarchy and they sell all the cute nails? I'm thinking of putting like a little salon on their second floor. So that could be the nail salon I sell and we can make it look like the one here. Yeah, Officer Evans is coming back. <laughs> Not me sliding over in the seat. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> right. So this is where PD is going to start off. It's like a little gritty jail. Look at it. I didn't even notice they had separate cells for men and women. You know I'm trying to get arrested my first week here. I am trying to spend a significant amount of time in jail. I miss that. I want to go to prison too. But yeah, so PD, these are going to be the first jobs that are available for people if you want to be a police officer or even just um, dispatch. So those jobs are available. What's around here? I don't know what's downstairs. Scary. <laughs> for real. The fact that I wish I had tagged him in that video that I put on TikTok. The fact that he's like the most known cop in our city right now. He is. Because that video on TikTok got literally 552,000 views or something. Everyone knows Evans. There's more cells. This is where I want to be. No, I want to be upstairs so I can, like, get on the officer's nerves. What's out here? What is this, like, evidence? No, this is their armory. Where's evidence? Oh, I didn't know this. They had this. Oh, my God. I could be Dexter Morgan. Damn, see, I really don't want to be a cop, but I want to be a cop. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Gotham City one. It also looks like that one movie. What was it on Amazon where that bitch had like a twin connected to the back of her head? What movie was that? She like wreaked havoc in the police station and looked just like this. Did I go in here? Oh, look at it. So these are actually two-way mirrors. Like you see the mirror there, but if I go in the other room... You can see inside. Now that's some shit we can't do in that cell. I mean, I guess. You can always make one side transparent. Anyway, jail in S or GTA is a lot more fun. So commit crimes in either city and then come get arrested in GTA. <laughs> but I love, I love this. I love that it's all open. There's an upstairs. I didn't notice that. Who would be in here? Chief? Sergeant? Captain? I don't know all the roles. I want to be the pain in the ass. I'm getting arrested a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, the PD shit is super organized. After this, I'm going to take you out to the police academy because we went through academy. It was crazy. Salt was hilarious. We It was like a role play thing. She called someone like a hostile lawbreaker. I think I posted that video on TikTok too. Y'all gotta see it. I don't think I've laughed that hard ever. I know, the role play is gonna be so fun. What's he up to? Don't hurt yourself. Or he just laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too dead. He's gonna be like the crack addict that roams in off the street. I'm like, put him in a cell. Who's getting arrested first? Oh, no, I'm definitely getting arrested. We're taking his car. Let me take this around the block real quick. <laughs> Where is um, Police Academy? Police Academy is... There you go. No, right, thank you. What happens if one just wanted to do SL or GTA? Well, there would be no no limits so you can make a choice so when you come into the discord you have the option to choose which one you want to do we just want for people who want to do both there'll be some connections but if you want to do just one by itself that's totally fine i never been over here where'd that car come from Don't drive like me. Stop at stop signs when you get in here, for real. Like, traffic violations are the easiest way to lose all your money. Wait, where's it at? Oh, right here. 
I do like this car. Yeah, it's super fun, you should. Okay, so here's Police Academy. I'll um, link the video I did here for part one. Part two is where all the action was because um, we did a lot of the like scenario-based training. I'm gonna show you, the place looks cool. And like I was role-playing on Triss and she, so that character was like super new to the city. She came here first, she was so broke. She didn't even have a car. She was like biking around um there's even places in here to stay because she had nowhere to stay she was super broke she was gonna check into a hotel but then like i don't remember who it was that told her she could just like sleep here never been in there i didn't even know that existed what's back here did i already come back here is that how i got in i think no sense of direction i have no idea where i am Let's see. Okay, so this is where we like role played doing traffic stops and everything. So it was Misty. She was like our, I don't know what's called our like role player within a role play. They rezzed in another car like right here. And then there was a real police car and you had to like come out and they would walk you through like how to do a traffic stop, like things to say, how to work everything. Police also have a bunch of really cool menus. Like they have their own menus. They can like see what, like, what's it called? Speed? <laughs> like how fast people are going. <laughs> I'm brain dead today, y'all. They can see all of that. And through the system that we have. So there's this like whole registration system that when you come to roleplay, you're gonna have to like register your character and your character can build up a history um so the first thing is of course you have to get a license we're gonna have a dmv in here you have to like take a driver's test you get a license you register your vehicles um but also also if you get like pulled over or if you get arrested or if you like even go to the hospital and just like there are like records on you so the more you role play the more you get into like that has to be bad records but there's records and i think that's going to be super useful for sl too so i've always been looking for some sort of like record system in SL. And then here we did some like scenario based training as well. Like they gave us different scenarios and we had to be the officer and like come in and deal with it how we would. In some cases we had to arrest someone. Some, they were all different. Like it's very much like a police academy. It was super cool. Radar, there we go. <laughs> um, What else can I show you in here? Those are bathrooms. I always find the bathrooms. There's a kitchen. <laughs> this is like where we were in the first, Lord, the first day of training. So training for PD, so the police academy, it's four hours in total. And I think it's split up between four days. So it's an hour a day. The one that we did, we did two hours um and one day just so we could get through it in two streams but you would just have to attend all four days that's going to be one of the first events in the city is police academy training um what we did last time is we allowed spectators because it was just fun role play we kind of wanted to get to know people but um if you want to be a cop just know that's going to be probably the first role play that we welcome to the city because we need police before we can invite all the criminals like me. Is that going here? Where's the place with the beds? How do I get there? Where am I at? Oh, upstairs. Yeah, it was so fun. Oh, there's a gun range and everything in here because we, we did shooting. That was another hilarious moment. But we practiced our shooting in here. I have problems with doors. Gun safety class. There's also like a gym in here. Hostile lawbreaker, right? Forever funny. It was funny too, cause she thought about it for a second. She was like, we have a hostile lawbreaker. <laughs> oh, these are showers. 
I don't know if we'll build all of this in SL. Not yet. We don't have the space for it. We do have um like a training room in the police station in SL. I'll log in SL before we end here too. Just to see. Oh, this is where Trist lived. <laughs> she was living in here because she had nowhere to live. So if you're coming and you're not you can't like afford a place to stay. And you want to join PD? You get some housing. Um, not really. It's just like what kind of role play you want to do. Oh, here's the gym. I always get caught up looking at mirrors because we don't have mirrors in Second Life. But no, it's just like depending on what you enjoy. There's no like stats. Okay, I'm just like aimlessly running around. Oh my god. I'm lost. What's this? I can't go up here. Taller than it. Another roof. Obby. Do I have to run down all these stairs? I just jumped to my death. Oh god, now she's back up. Don't jump to your death. Hospital bills can get high if you're reckless. <laughs> um. You're invading my space, shit sucker. You gonna fight me? Yup. You, <gasps> you better not die with one hit. He was so bold. I'm gonna show you the other police station, the city hall. <gasps> Did my ride leave me? Oh wait, there's another front. <laughs> Damn, now she's tired. Yeah, don't be intimidated. It's super fun. Like honestly, if my silly ass who is brain dead all the time could get through it, like that's why I was, I was super nervous at first, especially cause I don't know anything about police. I don't, I didn't even know what radar was called two seconds ago. So I was like, I can't do this. They say numbers and shit. I don't know what that's about, but um, if I could get through it, you got this. Not the car, like, going down when I got in and not when he got in. It's calling me heavy. You call audacity. All right, let's go over here so I can show you the other. Yeah, they were funny. Oh, shit, this car is fast. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, I just got a speeding ticket. Damn it. This car is so fast. I'm gonna get another one. Shit, did I just get another one? These like traffic cameras will get you. I'm gonna focus on not killing us. Oh shit. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> Quiet down. This car is fast as hell. It's not my fault. <laughs> Yo, what oh my gosh, it's so fast. Did I just get another? Oh, look, I got a driving skill point. For this incredible driving that I'm doing. Didn't hit a single thing. Boom. That's just good driving. No cap. <laughs> it's terrible driving. <laughs> What just crashed? I didn't do it. Oh my gosh. These butterflies? Ew. <laughs> the car so low. That's your car? Wait, who is Green Villain? Is that... Um... Evans? What am I doing here? So this is the fancy police station. This is where they'll end up after we make them struggle for their lives. <sighs> I have to be a cop to come in here. What's the code for cop? <clears throat> Is it just police? Yep. I'm gonna be police.
three place. Cool. I'm a sergeant. Boom. I'm not gonna unlock the damn door. Oh, has your name always been Green Villain? Or maybe your picture is different? Something's different. What is happening? Okay, fuck this door. I gotta come back out through it anyway. This is the other police station. Being a cop is that ass cool. Like, what are you doing, James? Can you share your screen? You have all the fancy things. Or tell me what menus to press. Oh, shit. What room is this? I don't need to go in there. I don't need to go in every room. We'll be here all night. What room is that? Is that evidence? Armory? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's run in here. Oh my God, which way first? Let's go downstairs. Cause I swore that was Evan's name. Look, I can't remember names on both platforms. You're very rarely on YouTube, so I never remember. It's this way. This place is huge, by the way, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, look at you could be like CSI. Like once they get all fancy. I should go out to the prison too. We went to the prison the other day. What is around? There are jail cells somewhere out oh, here. Excuse me. You know what's crazy? I think Evans was the stricter one and everyone hated the fact that if they ran into him, they'd probably lose money. But everyone just hated you. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think people still liked Evans, <laughs> Evans better. <laughs> Which is funny because when you look at it, like technically you are way more lenient. <laughs> this is another one of those like interrogation rooms. Like a, it's the mirror situation for me. Oh wait, I don't need to go in both rooms. We've learned this, right? Did I go in here yet? Did I go in the cell? I'm gonna try to remember to lock all these doors once I'm through. <laughs> First of all, how do y'all know Evans? Oh shit. Oh, from Twitch streams? But yeah. I can't wait to also be a prisoner in these jails. I'm getting arrested every weekend, every seven days. I don't think this is the same audience. I think everyone here knows Evans from TikTok. <laughs> Did y'all know James? Um. So those are cells. This is the lowest level. How do I get back upstairs? Exit. I felt like this wasn't locked when I came down. Did I not come in this door? No. Wait, what? I got out of this maze. It wasn't really locked. Give me the option to lock you. <clears throat> but they are. They're gonna be like, where's that other cop? Yeah, Evans wasn't strict with us at all. Evans, it took him ages to ever even give me a speeding ticket. Like, I always talk my way out of those. Need an adult police station? Ari, if you want to do that kind of stuff, that's when you dance on over to Second Life. Jason, thank you for the sub. So if you want, because our police department in Second Life, which I will show you, is very adult. If you get into a tricky situation and you want to... So that's the one thing. In GTA, we, I mean... We can't make the same rule in SL. In GTA, we don't have dirty cops. There's no dirty cops in GTA in the server. We kind of have to be on straight and narrow. I think we'll have the same general rule in SL, but SL is very sexually charged. I can imagine there will be some situations that people work their way out of. <laughs> no packages. Yeah, besides adult, by the way. Sorry if I didn't say that, sorry. 
I mean, the sim the police station on is a moderate sim, so you have to be like behind closed doors and it has to be an adult, but there is normal places there too. I'm so hot all of a sudden. Oh crap. I can't remember to lock all these doors. I'm not opening any more doors. What's in here though? No locker rooms. We have locker rooms in SL2 and they're all zeal life. I mean, I ain't answering that. <laughs> you remember police station action. What's that fan floating on? Where's that tender? Oh, we do have tender, I'll show y'all. Oh God, I keep going in the wrong places. Look at Mario. <laughs> Does he have a million cars out right now? Is he just showing off? There are a lot of cars in the server. I do have to go to PDM to show y'all. Um, I don't know what else I wanted to show you here. More of the story, the fucking station is nice. I think if I go up another level, we can go over to City Hall, but I can't remember how to get there. Where's the stairs? Good job. No sense of direction. I still use my GPS to like get down the street in real life. Oh, stairs. Do y'all want to see the phone? When I get to City Hall, I'll show you the phone. All right. Where do I go? This break room so much nicer. Oh, this way. Evan needs to be on Tinder. I think we have all the like, everyone after him. I feel like I have to like give everyone in GTA a warning. Um, that we're all sex addicts in SL. <laughs> Everyone's trying to come here and like, I'm trying to get the hookup real quick. I think they're, Little virgin ears aren't gonna be ready. Oh, Evan's got a boo thing. All right, let me show you this phone real quick. This phone does have Twitter. It has Instagram too, which is cool because you can actually create an account. You can take pictures. You can get followers. Why are my pictures not working? But you can get followers. How do I have no followers and I'm following a whole person? Excuse me, follow me back, please. I'm also building a Facebook on the website, but I'm not gonna launch that. In the beginning. Um, artistic pleasures. Thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, this app. Under thirty. Swiping left. I need me an old man. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> now I can't see anything. But the Tinder is cool, and when you match, you can like message people, and you can send gifs, which is important to matchmaking. And of course there's Twitter, there's always a Twitter. Who is that character? <laughs> Who is Jay? Who are these people? I got in here a week ago. Did you say I couldn't? GTA is an adult game, there is sex. I just think People are very more, like, way more sexually open in Second Life than they are in GTA. <laughs> you can when the server opens, little Chris. Unless you're, that little means you, like, young. <laughs> server is 18 plus. But, um, yeah, this is the phone. It's cool. It has a lot of things. I haven't done all the things. What, am I hungry? Didn't I just eat? What is? This is my first time getting a text since I've like been in here. New phone, who does? <laughs> Bye Mario, like where the fuck you at? I'm standing outside with 19 cars. All right, so this is City Hall. This is where we're gonna put like, oh wait. What the fuck's up here? Is this a third floor? My struggle life, cause my F1. 
I don't want to look like this. <laughs> I don't know if this said none. Ah, uh, hello. There. Alright, alright. I'm starving to death. Jeez Louise. I swear I just ate, didn't I? Let's drink some water while we're at it. Don't worry about the drugs that you see on me. They're not mine. I found them. I'm dead. Um, let me see. Not supposed to be for kids. SL is not, yeah, SL. Okay, little Chris, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome to come. Um, yeah, I think um, definitely in the server because you can have sex here. So we're we're gonna stick with the eighteen plus situation. Well, there's offices up here, so this is where we're gonna keep like where mayor and lawyers and shit, district attorneys. Those are positions that you can have. We're gonna vote for mayor. And apparently it's gonna be Mayor Mendoza. Oh shit, I ain't down there yet. But oh, there's big offices in here too. But when you come in, this is where you'll come to get like a driver's license and all of that. Not up here in these fancy ass offices. Oh, I think this one's the mayor's office. Which one's your office? Yeah. Can't even in the normal GTA, the strippers are full blown naked. Remember, I like got so shocked and had to turn off my stream when I found it. But these are all super cute. Um, most of it does look like hamburgers. Some of them look different, like the Chick fil A. No, is it Chick fil A? Something looked different the other day. I forgot what I ate. All right, so that's the those are the fancy levels. Um, let me show y'all. So, this is also the courthouse. So trials and ish happen in here. So we're gonna also open that up first. So for people who want to be lawyers, district attorney, um, I don't know what else is there. There's a list. You'll see it. Let me back here. All right. So you can't like get over there to attack the judge. Excuse me. I know. Hey, Hugo. Moses for mayor. I'm expecting to see a full-blown campaign. I'm expecting there to be rhyming in your slogan. What's Mendoza rhyme with? Mendoza. First of all, this building is like my favorite thing in the world. I'm here all the time for no reason. I think I wrote into my character story that she just volunteers for um, Chamber of Commerce shit. Shit, I'm lost again. How do I get back into the main area? Was it this door? No. <laughs> this one? Sorry if you already said, but when does this open? How do I get started? Like where to go? So to get started in advance. So we're basically right now, everyone's waitlisted. We will open the Discord on February 5th. And that's when we'll start recruiting first for these positions that I'm talking about now. So we're recruiting first for PD, anyone who wants to be a part of the judicial system, um, EMS and medical mechanics and taxi. Those are the first people that we're letting into the city. So if you're interested in any of those areas, we'll be letting, we'll be whitelisting those people first. But basically once you're in the Discord server, you will see like an application area where you basically submit a character bio um, that's basically the biggest thing is just submitting a character bio saying which city you want to go into the gta city the second life city or both um i would just say like even if you don't have one of the platforms just in case you ever want to go into that city just select both like just think ahead if you're ever going to want to go into there and won't have to talk to someone about it again just select both even if you're not in there um the attack ads <laughs> speeches 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 Oh my God, he did used to preach, but yeah. And then basically when the server opens up, you'll be whitelisted and you could come in. 
This is like a desk. Just in case you wanted to see that desk. Mendoza and sodas. Vote for, Men vote for Mendoza, get more sodas. I think this is where we're gonna have DMV stuff. To get your license, register of vehicles. Yeah, let's go see where Mario is. Oh shit! Ooh. Okay. Grim the Reaper, thank you for the sub. No, so I'm creating a server. We just have the same city in both Second Life and in GTA. And it's got like shared records. How do we find this man? <laughs> Over here? Shit. I forgot all about that church situation. <laughs> I don't want a DMV building. I kind of want it to be in here. Let's go see which car we're stealing. What is happening? Who's he hugging? Is it a gorilla? <gasps> Get it out of here! I hate kids! No! Throw it away! <laughs> Everybody's been asking me about kids. I was like, we're not bringing them. I don't want to see these little rugrats. I'm taking one of these. Ew, I hate it. I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it. We're not bringing kids to start with. They ain't happening. Don't get, don't get excited. I'm telling everyone not to get excited. They ain't having kids. <laughs> oh, send her back to the agency. Got this little white baby. <laughs> She belongs to the streets. I don't know that kid. <laughs> I am dying. Oh, is there an actual DMV job? I thought we were just gonna keep it under whatever. Where am I going next? What did I say I was gonna show you guys? Do you wanna see the hospital? There's not much of the hospital, but I'll show it to you really quick. I'm leaving you and that child that I don't know. <laughs> People want kids. Where is the hospital other direction, isn't it? This car is nice. I want this. Mario. <laughs> I don't know whose baby he stole. He stole an NPC's baby. Oh my god, are NPCs gonna be walking around with kids? I don't wanna be called like a child killer on my stream. Because you know the temptation to just kill it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait, let me drive around first. I think this, people have seen this before. But this is the hospital. This is the emergency room. You'll probably very likely end up here a lot because nobody knows how to stay alive. There are a couple of things to note. Um... When you get injured, like before, we're not gonna talk about before. When you get injured, you're gonna have to call the police. If you commit a crime, you ain't trying to go get and have an ambulance like come get you. You're gonna have to try to make it here, but you're gonna end up like spending all of your money if you come check yourself in at the hospital. It's gonna be so expensive. And you're gonna lose your shit, your money, and your guns. But also, don't park up there. I've gotten so many tickets, so there's a garage. <laughs> if you have to go to the hospital. I'm trying to like have a doctor's appointment. I should go see like a therapist for all my criminal behaviors. It should be like demanded as a part of my sentencing. So this is also where you can come if you need to mess with your character. Like if you come to the hospital, one, you can always check yourself into the hospital, of course, but there's a room in here to do character customization. It's this first one on the left. So if you don't want to go to the mall, you don't want to get airport. This is the one I always use because there's just, the space is bigger. It's easier to camera around in here. But um, there's a lot here. They role play here. I didn't even realize there were all these rooms until I got arrested one day and I was trying to get out of it real bad. So I was acting so sick and they brought me to the hospital and they put an IV in me and like had me waiting around. I didn't even know they had all this. So like they have their own full role play. This is role play that I can officially say I know nothing about. 
Um, I'll probably eventually come in here and like go through their training for a stream. But oh, this is the room that I was in. And one time Misty, I forgot what happened to her. I think she got hit by a car or something and she got checked into the hospital and she was like in a room. Am I where I'm supposed to? Did that take me anywhere? I don't know. But yeah, they have a lot. They have a lot. Medical roleplay seems just as like heavy as police. I feel like I'm on a different floor. Did it actually work and take me somewhere else? No. I think I would need the job. There's a whole lot in this hospital though. Excuse me. Bayside Medical. Wait, no. A morgue. Oh, I should bring y'all there. It's crazy. How do I get out of this? I think I am on a different floor. There's a floor with like hospital rooms because that's where Misty was and she ended up in a wheelchair and I had to push her around. Am I just going to the same place over and over? Am I even... Oh yeah, this. <laughs> I know, or people who wanted to. I remember like there were years where I wanted to be a pediatric plastic surgeon so bad when I was like in high school and I actually went and interned and volunteered at hospitals and watched surgeries and did all that stuff. Back then I would have eaten this up. I would have been so here for it. And then I decided to change my trajectory. Okay, I hope that baby's gone. I feel like that baby's haunting the entire city. Oh my god, what time is it? How long have we been streaming? I gotta, there are so many things to show y'all. Okay, we gotta get Mario because he has to show me PDM. Because I don't think I was at the right one. All right, I'll show y'all PDM. Um, oh, there are a couple of things that are different too. Like banking is now a job. Oh shit. No, I should show y'all one of the houses. Where the fuck? I didn't do it. Where's, where Mario go? He's still up here with his kidnapped baby. Why are there so many cars on the street? I want to be chauffeur. No, I really like this car. Let's go to PDM. You have to, uh, <clears throat> you're gonna to have to fly out or fall back in. Oh, okay. Come on, sec. That's why it wasn't working for me. I forgot he said that. All right, let me restart really quick. And while I do that, open my bubbly. I'm starting to lose my voice. Why do I lose my voice on YouTube and not Twitch. We're on Twitch for hours. <laughs> I can't with that baby. Oh, wow. Nope. Oh, this thing still says Bill. Can y'all see my computer? I've been trying to like bring it into frame. What is this? Oh. I need more USB things. No, 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 no. Is that a copyright song? <laughs> Ooh, flavor. Each nectarine. A vibe. All right. <clears throat> oh, I didn't show you the strip club. And then I want to show you the islands. And then I think. We'll talk about Discord. I'll show you some stuff in Second Life. That's it.
What about Chance the Rapper? That's who that song was? We gotta put a copyright free. This whole video is gonna be demonetized now. All right. I said I was up this one. What, you don't trust my driving? My little head disappeared. Don't drive like me. Just trying to be quick because we're on stream. Although I could have just like teleported there, I suppose. I didn't do that. Wait, what? Look at this like little death shrine. That's sad. I've never right. noticed that before. Me neither. I feel like new random things are popping up. Alright, I'm driving with this keyboard. It's all like... Pray for our lives. Perfect parking. Okay, so dealer is now a job. You can be a car dealer. This is a dealership. Look at they make commissions. That's cool. I want to show you guys houses too. But yeah, there's a ton of um, cars in here. Granted, you're probably not gonna be able to afford anything but like a bicycle. Where did I get that bicycle that time? Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Why is this exploding? Bentleys. <laughs> I want to like a, a Volvo or something. No, I want like a hoopty one. Oh, we haven't wiped the server yet completely. So some people probably still own these cars that are sold out. This is what I want. This is going to be my first car. And this kind of looks like that little hoopty I drive around in Second Life sometimes. Are you gonna be taxi, Mr. Third Wheel? You were taxi, right? We have a taxi app now. But this is cool. Let me show y'all a house real quick. Oop. This car is mine now. I'm his baby, gotta find a new one. Wait, how do I find the houses? Is there one what in houses? here? Sure. Or like a house that I can look at. Uh, I can take one. Maybe one of the fancy ones. What zip code should I go to? Oh, wait, there's a little one here. Um, that's my. That's a what's the name house? It's like in the middle of. The so go um, clear that. Clear that real quick. That's whose house? Yeah, clear that house. Oh no, not the taxi guy. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I know. The NPC characters are still equally hilarious. But just remember when you come up in here, you really are going to have to. Oh, shit. Not my car. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you better. You're gonna have to drive normal because you'll get you'll face consequences. I think a lot of people make a mistake of well, this is not the server. Some servers maybe some people make the mistake of like wanting to play GTA online in a server. But no, if you're speeding and driving reckless, you can get tickets, you can get arrested, you can end up with a bunch of legal fees that you can't afford to get out of. 
Oh, I need to show you out Chick-fil-A. I need him to show you out to my like keyboard it wasn't working. Oh shit, is that a car? I feel like they're driving reckless around here. Not me, just them. Oh, we're about to break down. Child, we cannot live without a mechanic. Here? Let me pull in the driveway so an NPC doesn't try to sideswipe us. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, there you go. Your car is about to break down. I don't know how that happened. Hey, watch my son. Watch my son. Oh my god, get rid of it. I hate them. <laughs> oh, can you hit them? Oh, you can. <gasps> oh my god. No, get rid of these. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, okay. I hate it. Up the kid. Um, we did apartments last time, I think for the first time. So we can probably bring apartments back. The Oculus, really? Oh, can I still see it? Ew. I don't think you realize how much I dislike children. <laughs> Look at her. Stunt triggered her twitching. Like it looks like he's talking. Oh, get your like limping kid out of here. You should be able to press E and then uh, preview house. Okay. So now for houses, you have the option to like buy them. Of course, they're going to be priced very differently, but. You can also go in to preview the house to see like what you want. Dude, this flashing is driving me insane. But there's like different interiors. You can have like a little house tour. <laughs> I know I said if there are kids here, y'all gonna talk about I abuse children. <laughs> I hate that kid. But like I had never even seen this interior in GTA before or in roleplay. What just happened? Okay, this house is huge. I'm not even gonna try to go around. I'm gonna get lost. You guys know I don't know how to get out of situations. Wait, let's just see. This house is so big. Shut up. What is this closet? Ooh. There are three possible interiors. I think they're all the same, just with slightly different color schemes. Like this one looks all white. This one's like that. I like the, ooh, this one had a marble floor though. I think I like this one, this. But yeah, so basically you pay for a house in full, but of course, you know how before you could come to the door and mortgage it? You can't do that now. You have to go to the bank and get a loan. You wanna see another set? <laughs> no, that's good enough. Can we, um, can you show us the bank thing? Wait, no. Was that anything to show? Can you show us Chick-fil-A? Yep. Oh, the car's locked. Ew, the kid's adorable. <laughs> Lock the doors. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> we need no one anyway. This one was on its last leg. Oh, some babies. How oh, rare. You can have cats. We're just going to TP. Nah. Where is that? I tagged it for you. Okay. Can I just take the whole car? Damn. Should have known. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> onward. No harm done. <laughs> Wait, 
wait, no, I want to go to drive through because I didn't know that was a thing until two days ago. I don't think you can really do anything in there, girl. You gotta go out there and make the food. I know, but I didn't know you could drive through it. She don't want nobody playing on her phone. I just want to leave the car at the window. Oh, Lord. Oh, and teleport out of the car. <laughs> Alright, so Chick-fil-A is now a job that you can have. And you can actually make the food like to order. He's gonna show you because it doesn't work for me. Which we gotta look into. Because I wanna work here. What's the button for it again? Um it's the alt key. Yours is exactly crazy though. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't feel like I've been trying. Look at my character. It reset. Blasphemy. How dare you, Rare? Oh, oh sorry. I'm brave for standing next to this wildness. <laughs> Let me search my glasses. You want to put them back on? <laughs> I'll do it here. Goes behind the wheel, exactly. I love that he's already getting picked for the I'm evening. Sure what's going on? That's probably why you couldn't do it. I'll probably have to fix something later. Oh, okay. I'll show y'all another time, but basically you can cook the food. Like you get the ingredients from the refrigerator and then you go over to like these things and cook. And then it gives you the food that you want and then you can come out to the register and charge your customer. It's so cool. I feel like Behaze should own this one. I still didn't show y'all the strip club. Oh, wait, where's my car being weird? I wanted to see the window. I've never noticed the drive through window before. Look at this. Like, what do you want to eat? I've never worked in fast food, so I'm gonna be living my life vicariously through it. Oh. <laughs> and Matt, I skedaddle away. Dude, what the shit? What? Chick-fil-A is haunted as hell. We gotta get out of here. I'm leaving Mario in there fighting that guy. And we're gonna TP to Vanilla Unicorn because we don't have time right now. You can also surf and hunt and do like deliveries. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know. All right, I want to see the nail salon. And then the strip club. And then we are done. I didn't expect to be on here so long. <laughs> Someone hiding that fridge because that would be your plan still. I see how you move. I don't remember what job we set this as to be able to unlock the store. No. Am I not three? Oh, I'm ten. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. This is the nail salon. This is like a business you can own. You can do makeovers and play music. And go to the bathroom. <laughs> I love you forgot what was in here. Yeah, someone. So basically, there has to be an owner of the business and they hire employees. Okay. 
I need to put my job back. I'm a unicorn. Yeah, it's super cute. Yeah, hunting is so fun. I would show y'all. We're gonna have to do that in another stream. This is my fine establishment. <laughs> Could have just like stayed a cop, and I think I could have opened all the doors. Texture is tweaking out for me. I need a relog. Damn. All right. But we've had a ton of events in here. There's like a little VIP area. We're gonna call this the champagne room. <laughs> like at the monarchy. I low key feel like building the dressing room at the monarchy to look like this one, except not as grungy. And then there's the where you go on the stage, but my stage is tweaking out, so I'm not gonna go on. And this is the office. And boom. Yes, come be a stripper. I'm gonna be recruiting everybody to be a stripper. And if y'all do real good, I'm gonna really try to convince y'all to come over to SL. <laughs> <laughs> be a stripper. Oh yeah, there's a DJ booth. There's floating fish. One's name, I forgot. But yeah, that's tweaking out. Oh, I didn't show you the island, fuck. I'm gonna give you the whole experience. While we're on the flight to the island, Mario, you have to come. I was gonna TP him, but I guess that's rude. <laughs> so you have to go to the airport. You prepare for what I'm about to get us into. I won't go to that. This car is jacked up. I wonder who did it, not me. Yeah, we gotta go I'm upstairs. Good driver. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. We're basically a taxi. All right, so to get to the island, you have to take a flight from like that first area that you come to. And it's over here. And if you steal the plane for whatever reason, cause people are crazy and they try to steal planes. But if you steal the plane, there's the thing like in the middle between the city and the islands. There's like a thing in the middle and they will shoot your ass down. I learned that. <laughs> Where's that? You get fancy. I got a little Simpson shirt. It'll take a minute to like take off because it's waiting for all your friends to come. Hey Naya. I know. It's been a it's been a long one. <laughs> I wanted to get in to show y'all some stuff in Bayside that you may not have noticed, like the police station, maybe. Definitely the drug basement. So we're gonna need steel to come back when I get into SL. <laughs> Steel. Did I say your name right? Steel.
I don't know why I'm trying to put this on when it hurt my head. Alright. It's gonna take a sweet time. This reminds me of flying an SL though. <laughs> I'm about to be in bed. He doesn't have any eyebrows, does he? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. <laughs> You should. I want people to live over here and like start their lives over here. I feel like this pilot's a little twisted. Why'd we take off sideways? I don't trust this now. Oh, look at the city. See, do you see it in the middle? can't see you very well because it's nighttime. The dead ass that will shoot you out of the sky if you're not meant to be the one driving this. I want to go there. Oh, I land there. I want to go there. Does it not show up? No. Damn. And we're getting here at night. He's got champagne now. He's gonna be drunk. <laughs> Dude, if I had to fly this plane, we'd all be dead. I tried flying in GTA once, and I think that was in story mode. I was trash at it. Not story mode. Yeah, story mode. Was it? There was a challenge of some sort, and I couldn't pass it. It was a ship. I've got to get to it somehow. Oh my God, are we okay? Our pilot is drunk. Yeah, I think it is because it had like a little runway on it. Are we okay? Lord, Lord. Oh my God, I know. I did conduct a train though. All right, we have the deal here. So if you ever fly to this island, get away from the wingspan because this thing will run you down. Alright, we need a vehicle. Hey. Don't ask about the snow, I don't know about it. <laughs> Uh oh, I said I was trying to wear a cap. Oh, I guess it'll wait. No, that one might be too fast. To be on this island. Too fast? Oh! <gasps> uh -uh. Doubting too me. Too fast to build this island. <laughs> You're gonna be flying through here. Oops. Let's get a cat for rare. <laughs> I've never spawned a cat out. That is so funny looking. There you go. Ooh. 
Alright. Big boat. So this island's super cool. You can also hunt out here. So sometimes what I would do is I would like get all my bait and stuff at the mall. And then fly out here, have a hunting trip. Go see different things. Ooh. I also come out here and blow shit up sometimes. Don't tell anybody. But we are trying to develop the role play out here. So if people are really digging the vibes out here. We may give them some priority into the server too. Because I want to see role play develop here. It's just such a cool spot. And there's like a weed field somewhere. This is also where I am often doing some of my criminal activity. <laughs> Take it home with me with the cat. No. I'm gonna leave it for you. I wanna show you two places on this island, but I'm not entirely sure how to get there. And you can't really use the map. It doesn't quite work. But it's so cool here. Nope, I saw that. I know, I love the sounds. Wait, let me look the map really quick. Where am I trying to go? I would say to that yellow dot, but I don't even think that's it. There's an area. A little bungalow. Oh, wait. I see it. Oh, we can continue this way. So, but where you can, like, party at? Beach? Yeah, but I also want to go to that big house. We're, like, almost yeah. to that. I put it, that's <laughs> where the, uh, the beach thing is. Like, it's <gasps> How dare you! I can drive so well! <laughs> Best driver in GTA. Best driver in Bayside. See, now I get to say that and it'll apply to both cities. Woo. Life flash before your eyes, didn't it? <laughs> so this is where my criminal activity happens. Let me show you my room. This is also my sex dungeon. I want to see that part first. This is where I'm going to lock all my submissives. <laughs> but no, for real, over here. Don't try to break in here. You're not invited. If I catch you over here in character, I'm killing you. You must be invited. This is where I do sketchy shit and have sketchy shit. Drugs and things. Drugs and guns. Dude, I really can never get through door. Oh, no, it's unlocked. Uh oh. But yeah. Crime happens here. And a sex dungeon. Right? There's rats down here, though. Wait, I gotta take you to the beachy area. This place is beautiful. I'll have to show you on another stream because it would take me ages to get around and there's like a bunch of hidden rooms and stuff. Like I found an office in here the other day and it was so cool. I got this. How did I get in here? Oh God. This way? <gasps> this 
one? Yeah. My brain is breaking. How is that car in here? Was that car in here or was that now here? Oh shit. Did he bring that car inside? Is that a thing you can do? There's a lot of cool sketchy places on this island, like lots of little homes and different little areas with like drugs and stuff. Like it is a sketchy place. Can I just like trying to find out the um the party thing? Nope. Whoa! Oh, oh. Perfect landing. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. So this is like a little resort area. We're trying to have someone own this as a business too. Cause it would be kind of cool to have like scheduled group trips and stuff. But these little bungalows, you can okay. go into them. No, 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 no music, no music. Mute it, shit, dude. I can't have music on YouTube. I get demonetized. Let me go tell him, hold on. Wait, can you stop the music? You sure? I don't trust it. We're gonna have to leave him muted. I don't trust it. This place is cool. There's jet skis out there and stuff. We gone. No, we don't have the time. One day we will show you. But um, yeah, there's a bunch on this island. All right, what's up, girl? I'll call you in a minute. Was there anything else I need to show you? I think that was it. I was show, I'll show y'all like hunting and all the cool stuff as we progress. I stream on Twitch every Friday and Sunday. Um, oh, Secret Society, that would be dope. Oh, is he in the car? No, nah, he won't stay there, we'll be fine. But yeah, I stream, um, stream on Twitch doing GTA things on Fridays and then Sundays after my YouTube stream. So you can always see that on YouTube, I'm gonna be streaming just the last Wednesday of every month. So I'll be showing you more of the city. Usually if I stream on YouTube, it'll probably be like how to do different things in the city and all that kind of stuff. But Twitch, it'll just be my role play. But yeah, this is the server. I was gonna try to show you some like little residential areas, but I don't know if I'm gonna come across any. No, I literally just came back to the airport. But yeah, there's a lot on this island. The island's cool. I could show y'all some. I'm gonna show you just the police station and SL. Let me open it. Oh shit. Um, yeah, there'll be medical training. So yeah, I explained all that. Right now, oh, excuse me. the Gosh, damn, wait. I'm so glad I have everything muted right now because there's just music everywhere. But um, right now, it's the Discord server is not open. Discord server won't open until next Saturday. So you can join now. So you can go on a little wait list and you'll be the first to know when we're taking bios and what positions we're accepting first. We're going to set accept people that want to participate in the police academy and medical training first. So... Keep that in mind. But yeah, join the Discord. Um, let me link it. Or I think if I just use the command. <laughs> do I still hear him? How do I hear him? Do I still have a GTA open? Or do y'all, sir, <laughs> get your life. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Hi. I don't know, 5M was over Black Dragon. There's so many 5Ms. My Black Dragon. Did I crash? No, I'm still in Black Dragon. My computer is about to explode. I do this often, like, when I'm all... Like, when I'm not streaming, but I've never... Okay, what, what is showing? 
this. Where is this? Oh, where is this scene? Where is this? What is this? Goodness. <laughs> yeah, he's wild. We gotta get him to come over visit Second Life. All right, this has been happening. After our smooth experience in GTA, now our character won't load. So. Okay, I use it. Do I have a landmark for it? I'm just gonna pop over to the police station. We also have never opened the uh, hotel. I gotta open the hotel here. You have to, Rare. It's so fun. I feel like we'll have so much fun. My computer is about to explode. I need to close one of these. <laughs> Nothing's gonna res. I'm not gonna be able to move. Let me close five of them really quick. The only thing that's a challenge, when I switch back over to SL, I no longer know how to walk or anything. I don't use WASD in SL. <laughs> Maybe. Ignore the fact that nothing is res. So I try to just stress my computer out. But of course, everything is much smaller here. Also, the cell doors don't work. One of them does. But things here are adult. <laughs> I think mostly in the bathroom. There was um, an office that was fully animated. Okay, res for us this century, please. Oh my gosh. That wasn't a stray cat. That was actually like my pet cat. <laughs> but there are strays that roam around. I never... I never pay them any mind. They don't usually attack. The dogs attack. I always get into dog fights, but it's usually if I mess with their owner. I feel like it's gonna take too long to res and I don't feel like dealing with it, but we're gonna have people like Bayside police officers go through very similar training as the GTA ones, preferably in GTA. I think it would be a better experience for them because we just don't have some of those functions in SL, but we're gonna use the same like system for them here. Um, but yeah, all this stuff is adult animated. <laughs> I think even the lockers up here that you can't see currently. I think the only thing that you miss in GTA that you can do in SL is camera around like this. He's at the jail cell. I feel like they look similar. But one of them don't work. Oh, this one, this one doesn't have a door. Oh, shit. Yeah, that one has no door. Oh, these, first of all, these have adult animations and they're good. The shower in here, and it's all zeolite. But not a damn thing is gonna res for me. Like my wife was like, don't try to open me when you have GTA running at the same time. What are you gonna do? But yeah, SL Bayside, the new, the university is going to be opposite the club. So we're going to put it over here. Maybe. Oh, I said I was going to show you the drugs. All right, let's go to Emperor real quick. Or the place where I want drug activity to happen. There's no easy way for me to get there, is there? I have to go to the mall in room. Oh, butt cheeks. Ah. It's a man. Run! I always, every time I say something like that, I always have to like check to see if I'm um, on voice. <laughs> no one's in jail right now. I have played a cop in SL. I have a cute uniform for it if y'all want like sourcing on the uniform. But um, I arrested someone. 
I arrested Lick because he was like driving a taxi and I didn't like, oh, he was driving terribly in the taxi and I got out and I was like, I'm not paying you. But like I was on my cop character and I was going to the doctor and he like pulled a gun on me. So I arrested him. A secret entrance. Oh, yeah. I don't even try like the little I don't think it works. The sewage tank thing. Yeah. All right. To get there, you have to go down the elevator. Still, I'm going to hold you to this. I'm an expected drug organization. Right there. Can't see buttons yet, though. I've gotten stuck in this elevator because I couldn't see the buttons. Not to be able to see the buttons inside. Lord, which one is the basement? It's one of these two. Oh shit! I gotta get res. Going down. Oh shit. Let me out of this. Yes. I'm not doing sketchy drug stuff down here. <laughs> We're working on creating like a whole system. But yeah, it's cool down here. It reminds me of the little GTA area. See, I feel like we could have similar situations. But yeah, y'all, this was a lot. I did not expect to be on here this long. This was meant to be an hour. I was like, there's not even much I can show y'all because it's still working, working on everything. Um, but this was fun. So if you want to join again, here's the Discord. Join the Discord now, and basically we're going to be sharing information about information, information about how to get whitelisted and how to also join the roleplay in Second Life. So you'll notice, like, I'm in a roleplay group for Bayside. There are two options, like voice RP or text RP, or you get to choose both. Um, excuse me. So it's like a process also to get approved for the roleplay here. Um, but it'll be the same. It'll be a shared like application process. The character bio can be applied to both cities. You can choose if you want to be in GTA or SL. Once I finish the website, I'll also drop it over into the Discord so you can see like how everything works, all the rules, all the jobs that are available, all the things. So be sure to check it out. Again, if you have never played before and you haven't can't quite figure out like five of them or anything, I have a couple of videos on GTA. Look at this video, the playlist. I have um like how to join GTA, how to create your character, which you'll be able to use once you get into the city because I have the same menu. And like the first video for the police academy, I'll create a second one for the second one because it was funny. Um, but yeah, boom, done. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna stream on Friday on Twitch because it's not quite open yet, but I usually stream GTA on Twitch on Friday, so. Come hang out. Either way, join the Discord. You'll stay updated. That's also the Discord that we'll be using for Second Life Roleplay and Bayside as well. So check it out if you haven't. But you guys, thank you so much for hanging. Mario, thank you for like driving us around and getting us through all of the things. You enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back here. I think I might be taking Sunday off. But I'm not too sure. But I'll definitely be on Switch on Friday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.